this is Connie from Sea Space Cowboy. We're at Bradby's. We're gonna go get some records. <laughs> This isn't the album, but they're subtitled Place of Very Strangers with super important oh, album to me in high school. I'm gonna hold on to this. <laughs> Think about it. This is a record that was very important to my queer awakening. This is Hissy Fauna, Are You the Destroyer by of Montreal. It was like one of the first records I would, I would just like hop around and like dance to. And even like lyrically to this day, Kevin Barnes' lyrics are still super influential. Like the way that he would just craft these like crazy obtuse ways to like say these like feelings that like even like I would have a hard time like explaining, especially when I was like 13. So that's, that's a key. This is my favorite band of all time. I literally have lyrics from Interstate 8 tattooed on my arm. My first tattoo ever. And this is one of the greatest records ever made. This is the greatest like look into like a band's early material, like pre-figuring out their shit out. And of course Interstate 8 is just a, like fantastic EP. Like perfection. This is the classic. I first heard this record when I was like 12 or 11, I think. My dad showed me Apex Twin. And uh, I was really into like the Chemical Brothers, Massive Attack, like all that stuff, Prodigy. And uh, it's just always stuck with me ever since. It's just been a record that I can always go to put on while I'm working and stuff. And it's just, it's such an innovative um, album for electronic music. Oh my god. Alright, now, if if money didn't exist in a perfect world, this is one of the greatest electronic albums ever made. I love the cover Brothers so much, and I would listen to the CD so much when it came out. It's another one that my dad gave me. I put my metal CD player and just like put it on and just like dome out as a little kid.